I see a lot of people shorting Bitcoin right now, thinking that there is a double top on Bitcoin with a nice easy close invalidation for their short trades. Well, I am here to tell you in this video why I am bullish. I am not in any short trades here, and I am not going to be shorting until we make new highs. I am, yes, expecting higher prices to come with my higher targets above us right now. So as I've been making it clear to all of the champion members ever since we broke above $44,000, long and chill, no short trades, following my plan for higher, I am now going to make you all very much aware of this to the public facing side on YouTube here. So I hope that you really enjoy this video, you learn a lot and well let's hope that we get these higher prices to come. I'll be explaining my predictions to you right now. So jumping into the charts and where I left off my previous video, we were of course just coming up and around that $44,000 mark which was obviously very important indeed. We had that triangle going on and we had then above it a sideways range with a range high and a range low. Then all we had to do was remain patient as we started to come up towards the range high. Very nice indeed we were seeing the stock market pumping at the same time which is only beneficial for Bitcoin. And here we go this is the point of no return. <laughs> we broke above the weekly level with no swing failure pattern, no failed auction, and only signs of strength. That is very much then, after seeing that break, we got to be expecting higher prices to come. There is no short trades. This is our first sign of strength in a while. we not, we got to really now be looking for higher prices to come, okay? And that back on the 7th of February is how I've remained <laughs> up to today on the 12th. Really simply with a bullish bias, okay, not taking any short trades, okay, and, you know, really simply recognizing this initial sign of strength. Okay, it seems like a long time ago now, but as soon as we broke above $44,000, it really was off to the races. We, of course, had our higher targets, and every time we hit those higher targets, I was reminding my team, long and chill, not going to be taking any shorts. And when we hit the triangle target, when we hit the weekly, of course, when we hit an NPOC, when we hit the CC Fibonacci, when we hit the one-to-one, -one, I made it very clear in real time, so there's no hindsight, in real time telling my team I am not going to be shorting. I am remaining long and chill. I'm still expecting higher prices to come, still taking no short trades, okay? Every day coming in and just reminding my team this is the plan that I've got and this is the plan I am sticking to. As we hit the one-to-one -one, and we even got a bit of a pullback, while we're out trading below that, I'm still telling my team, I'm not shorting here. Honestly, I still want to see another push higher. And then you can see day after day, not shorting, long and chill. And on the 10th, no short trades, long and, long and chill. Yesterday, still waiting for the higher prices and targets to be hit. And today, I'm of course saying the same. No short trades, long and chill, look for higher. So now for you all on the public, why am I so bullish? Well, really simply, we had our sideways range, right? We broke out of that range. This is where we had that triangle going on. If you remember, we had our triangle here. We had our impulse, consolidation below resistance, continuation of the trend. Okay, so now really simply after seeing this, there was no short trade for me here. I am out of all of short trades that I was in from higher. And now really simply, I am looking for new yearly highs. Of course, this is our current yearly high right here. So I'm looking for a move above this, okay, where once again, we'll look for an SFP or swing failure pattern, much like we were looking for if we formed here on the weekly at the time, a swing failure pattern or failed auction. Of course, we didn't, and it was a sign of strength for continuation. Well, the rest is history as we see a massive move to the upside. So this is that same thing I'm going to be looking for here. Alert set to see if we form a swing failure pattern or failed auction. If we do, of course, I'll take that short trade. But if we don't and we get something like this with continuation, I'll look above $50,000. First time this year we could see above $50,000. I'd love to see that. And of course, above us, we have this very big, important zone 
of the weekly, which also sits on the top of the CC and our 1.618 Fibonacci extension. So some lovely confluence that we have around that $51,000 zone, okay? Up to, if you remember the highs prior to the drop that sit at around $52,000. Those highs, if you uh, <laughs> are not being paying attention, I refer to those highs that are on the 27th of December, okay, back here. So we got that lining up at around $52,147 to the weekly that we have going on at 50700 So we have this really lovely zone from 50500 to around 52.1 uh, of resistance. Really nice confluence for that short. But for now, yes, it's just a quick video to really emphasize because I feel it's important. I do see a lot of shorts opening here. So, you know, I want to try and protect my community the best way possible. And of course, if you want these updates before anyone else, you're not having to wait around on YouTube or well, every single day I'm coming in here, even on the weekends, just telling you that all my team, you know, I'm still bullish. We're still looking for higher. And it has been a very lovely rise to the upside because we have managed to take full advantage of it from the very first time of the breakout of that triangle back at $44,000. We knew there was no shorts. It was a sign of strength and we were very much expecting these higher prices to come. So from 44 up to now 48, I remain bullish. I am not shorting yet. And for the real-time updates, you know where to get it via chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this quick, simple video to explain to you why I'm not shorting, why I'm expecting higher prices to come. And... Yeah, we'll have to see if I am correct on this one or not. But thank you ever so much. And let's go over back to the charts. Cheers. Thank you and goodbye.